Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rupinder Sial and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. So today we are going to talk about a technique which combines isoelectric focusing and SDS page that we have discussed on our channel and this is called two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. So let's get started. Two-dimensional gel electrophoresis was developed back in 1975 by this, you can see this paper by Patrick O'Farrell and uh, other researchers also contributed to its development and it is a pretty simple technique but it is very routinely used for analysis of protein mixtures. The actual gel of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis looks a little bit scary and you don't know kind of what's going on. If you look, have looked at the isoelectric focusing gels or SDS page gels, this looks pretty much gone haywire you know it almost looks like a raw plot where you will see you know different creatures but joking aside it's a pretty useful technique for analysis of complex protein mixture so if you want to isolate the complete protein complement of a special tissue for example brain tissue spleen tissue liver tissue from any organism or from any other for example microbial source you can look at their complexity using two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. So here in the earlier days, of we are talking about 1970s when this technique was originally developed, the proteins were visualized using autoradiography. So the proteins were labeled using radioactivity and then the, the so the proteins were labeled using radio, uh, so the proteins were labeled using radioisotopes and then they were visualized on the gel using autoradiography. Here you can see the E. coli proteins. This is actually from that paper that we have just looked at from Patrick Farrell. This is the complete com complement of the E. coli protein. So you can see this whole complexity of proteins expressed in E. coli. No remarkable complexity. Just one single bacterium expresses so many varieties of different proteins. And here you notice there are two indicators IF and SDS and these are the two dimensions of the two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. The first dimension is isoelectric focusing or IEF that we have talked about and the second dimension is the SDS page. So there are basically two dimensions to it. So the first dimension separates the proteins according to their PI. So that is the first dimension and then this mixture is now subjected to SDS page and they are separated according to their molecular weight using SDS page and this is the basis of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. So here is a schematic of how do we do it. We perform isoelectric focusing first so the proteins are separated so each band technically represents a mixture of proteins which have the same PI and now but they will contain probably uh, proteins with some different molecular weights and how do we separate them using SDS page so we take that gel we take it out using using those IPG strips so we usually use those IPG strips for initial isoelectric focusing and then we use that strip for the next phase which is the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis and then we isolate the different proteins now here is the interesting part if we look at any two proteins here for example these two proteins these have the same PI. These have the same PI, but they have different molecular weights. This protein has much higher molecular weight than this, but we couldn't see this when we saw this single band. And if we look at any two consecutive proteins on the horizontal level, these have same molecular weight. but different PIs. So this has slightly different PI than the other protein. So this is the power of two dimensional gel electrophoresis. And usually nowadays we have like these two dimensional gel electrophoresis available for multiple different tissues and in multiple different conditions. So very useful for proteomic analysis. And nowadays we have robotic systems. So this is one setup. There are uh, numerous type of setups available from different commercial suppliers which will take the individual spots from the two-dimensional gel electrophoresis and then subject it to either mass spec or further analysis for peptide analysis and then we can 
zoom in on the identity of those proteins. So very useful for proteomics research. So, so I hope you like the description of the two dimensional gel electrophoresis in this video. Do give it a thumbs up if you like the description. If you have any questions or doubts about this technique, please let me know. As usual, do subscribe to my channel. And till then, take care and bye bye.